had it turned green. And now it's time to call the kids in and saying, look, I'm not going to be here too much longer. I need to part some things to y'all to let you know what y'all must do mm-hmm. when I leave. Mm-hmm. And you would think that Bert writes is uh, self-explanatory, mm-hmm. that you really would think that Bert writes. Bert writes is that special gift that you can only give to one child. Mm-hmm. Listen, one child. Look, you can't give it to all of them. Mm-hmm. Just that one. one. And the thing is, about that one, it always went to the first bone. Mm-hmm. The first bone child, mm-hmm. it would always go to them. God didn't reinvent the wheel on this one. He threw the wheel away. And he started over. But you got this old man, Isaac. He started out believing God. Trusting God. He he watched his father. He watched his mother. He seen his father went the distance so he can have a good life. Man, as it went on, tough times came for Isaac. Got him a wife, and they said she was beautiful. Her name was Rebecca. Rebecca. Oh, I'm so glad I never ran across a Rebecca. What's wrong with Rebecca? Listen. And I want you to just think about it. And man, trouble came. Trouble came, Lynn. It came. They couldn't have no children. But Isaac watched his father Abraham Mm -hmm. bring him up on the mountain, trusting God for everything. So Isaac said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call on God. Have you ever been like that? Man, my life was in the uproar in 1990, 1989. But I remember grandmother. I remember mama calling upon the Lord. Isaac remember Sarah. He remember Abraham. Calling up on the Lord. Lord blessed him. They couldn't get pregnant. The Lord blessed them. Huh? No, look, she couldn't. And not only did that, when he blessed her, he gave a twin. Look, he gave a twin. Jacob. And who's the other one? Esau. Esau. And man, it was trouble in the womb. They were fighting in there, y'all. It was fighting. I find that the problem with us is when we go to God, And we ask God for some things. And we ask God for some answers. Why don't we trust him? We went to him. He answered. She said there was two nations in the womb. The younger shall rule over the elder. The elder is supposed to get the bird right. But for some reason, God didn't give it to him. 
Listen, he didn't. He told them that day mm -hmm. how the plan should be. Mm -hmm. Look, even with Ishmael, huh? Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Remember Ishmael? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ishmael was mad yeah. because he figured he should have got it. He was the firstborn, mm -hmm. but he was born out of the flesh, mm -hmm. so he didn't get it. Flesh is what? And we're going to have the round table. Write your question down. Write it down so you don't forget it. Okay? So here we got this story. We way back in the Bible days. Mm -hmm. Look, look. They got dusty roads. Got rocks. Don't have caves and concrete road. They got Campbells, mm -hmm. donkeys, look, watering holes, yeah. like the old dugout well. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all come from that time. Mm -hmm. So here, man, the saga begin. It's a saga. It begins. This is where the masterpiece, the family, mm -hmm. it starts falling apart. Mm -hmm. Guess what happened? Favoritism came in. Yes. Yeah. That same Isaac, that same Rebecca, mm -hmm. that trusted God, well. start trusting in themselves. You know, the old folk used to say, God can't trust us with everything. Look, look, you asking him for something, mm -hmm. but now he gave it to you. You're not trusting him no more. You got what you want. Mm -hmm. That's how it goes. <laughs> Let me tell you something. A lot of people like that, once they get what they want, they done with you. Mm -hmm. You ever met people like that? Mm -hmm. All my life I met them like mm -hmm. that. That's why some people, you got to understand, they're in your life for a season. Mm -hmm. They're not trusting God no more. Mm -hmm. they trusting themselves. That's right. That's right. So as the boys start growing up, one is a mama's boy. One is a daddy's boy. Not daddy's girl, but daddy's boy. They is tearing down the family. They trust God to have the children. God gave them instruction on how this thing going to play out. The younger shall get the first right. He said it. Go back and read it. It's in the 25th chapter. He told him when she went to God, it was in the belly fighting. He holding the boy heel. He told him, man, Jacob favoring this boy. I mean, uh, uh, Isaac is favoring Esau. He's a warrior, you know. He, he's rough, you know. He tough. He go out in the yard and he play. He don't play on the Nintendos and the Playstations all day now. He go outside. Mm -hmm. You know, children don't go outside no more. No. They don't play outside no more. Man, he was a warrior. You know, he he was a tough guy. You know, daddy liked them boys to be tough, boy. You know, playing football, basketball. He didn't want him doing no ballet, ballet, whatever you call that. He didn't want that type of boy. You know what I mean? But, but Jacob, mm -hmm. he was in the house with his mama. Mm -hmm. You know. Look, he, he go to the store with his mama. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah? Mama cooking, he go cooking with mama. Mama washing, he washing with mama. Mm -hmm. So here it is. This man is old now. He's got to pass the birthright. His mother 
comes in. Why? Isaac is talking to Esau. Look, he's talking. Look what she come do, Latine. Now, you know, the daddy is talking to the son. Look, she in that. He'll mm hustle. -hmm. She take and dress the boy up like the older brother. Mm -hmm. Now, is she wrong? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She wrong? Yeah. Now, let me see if y'all really been walking with us. Why is she wrong? Come on, talk to me. Why is she wrong for ill hustling, dressing the boy up like the older brother? Look, then she said, look, she hurried up, she went and cooked some goat for the be dear. She got the goat. Now she had to be a good cook. I don't know if she put rosemary on it or regular, I don't know. But she had to be a good cook. Man, from Charles, she sent that boy in there. Now the daddy blind. Mm -hmm. But he can still feel mm -hmm. touch. Mm -hmm. She put that skin on him. Yeah. yeah. That hair. The other boy was, was hairy. hairy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, and Jacob, Jacob knew that. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I mean Isaac knew that. Mm -hmm. He hairy. But he knew something was wrong. Mm -hmm. But he just couldn't figure it out. <laughs> now. Why would Isaac give the birth rights to Ishmael. Tell me why he's wrong. Why he didn't? Why is he wrong trying to give it to Ishmael? Because he was the firstborn. No, come on, you're on the I need you to spell it out, oh. though. Oh. He was not the one to get the birth rights. No, he wasn't. Because he why didn't. would he try to give it to him when God told him back in those chapters that Jacob would be the one. Favoritism. Why would he? He's not trusting God no more, y'all. Right. He's trusting in himself right. because he favored this boy. Mm -hmm. Why would Rebecca trick him when God had already told that he would get it? She didn't have trust in him. Look, y'all, listen to me. Man, I wish that I could wholeheartedly, 100%, stand up here tonight and tell y'all I trust him wholeheartedly, 100%. But I could tell y'all this here, from where I started at in January to here, I trust him that much more. Amen. Amen. I do, y'all. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank I you. I do. Yes. I do. I get text messages. Pastor, you know, it, it's been a blessing. <clears throat> you know, I'm learning. I can see God moving. Mm -hmm. But listen, it's progressive. Mm -hmm. The worst thing we could do is fall off. That's right. That's right. Abraham progress as he went on this journey he got better and better more and more mm -hmm. the Isaac y'all he fell off mm -hmm. and what God say I'm the God of Abraham Hallelujah. Isaac and Jacob Hallelujah. man after the Boy coming in and and he fooled his daddy out of the birthright. Mm -hmm. What Jacob mean? Supplanter, trickster. That's all at the same thing. Huh? Look, look. You want to talk about the biggest scam in the Bible? Look, like this said, You want to talk about the biggest, but really, was it really a scam? Talk to me. What you think they really 
it really was a scam. You know how they try to call y'all, especially the older people on the phone trying to scam you out your money, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Huh? Tell you, you, go put your money in this and that. You, mm -hmm. you get more money. Mm -hmm. But this is the biggest, which is, this would be one of the biggest scams, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I beg to differ. I set you up. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a scam. Mm -hmm. God had already said what it was going to be. They were scheming and scamming. Mm -hmm. They're trying to circumvent them. They're trying to go around God. Mm -hmm. yeah. So look, she didn't got him all dressed up, went in there. And, and, and now when we get to the latter part of this thing, mm -hmm. it says, uh, verse 30. Twenty-seven chapter. Okay, and it came to pass as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, and Jacob was yet uh, scarce gone out from the presence of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother came in from his hunt. Other words, listen, listen, listen. He almost caught Jacob. From leaving out. They almost bump into each other. Mm -hmm. Huh? Boy, you know that was something, huh? Yeah. Uh, you know, you know. <laughs> huh? You know how you almost got caught? Yeah. Look, look. Anybody in here almost got caught? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. There's up the police and he, he almost got you. Yeah. He got the car in front of you. Am I right? Yeah. You ever had the police coming behind you thank you for you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk with the police. Yeah. So look. So, <laughs> so listen. After that, he almost caught him coming. Look, look. Coming out of that. And then look. And he also had made a savory meat. Uh, Esau probably came from hunting. And he also had made a savory meat and brought it unto his father. Now, now, look, 